Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is CityZilla and today we are in the city of Canalville where we are going to be working on this island right here. So we're going to add in some housing and I want to do a memorial. I had gotten a ton of suggestions for our naval base from the whole community and I super appreciate it. Um, and so I got a bunch of new assets and a bunch of exciting stuff and so let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so the first couple of suggestions that I got, one of them was actually a big one that after I saw it, I was like, you know, that's a no brainer, was to place a radar. So I think we are going to place one right here and we're gonna have to come back and place down some lights. We're gonna get rid of some of these trees and what we're gonna do is extend out this road just a smidge. We're not gonna get crazy with it, but we are going to bring it out just enough. You know what, that looks pretty good. It's kind of funny, it said that it was gonna hit that, uh, that fence, but it didn't and so, I think that looks fantastic. And then another suggestion that I'd gotten was that these carriers were actually for helicopters. And so I actually got a bunch of helicopters and I think we are gonna do some fun stuff here. So I'm going to remove that. I'm actually gonna remove one of these as well. And let's go ahead and jump in here and search up US Navy and see what kind of ships we got. So we got a lot. So I got these USS Michael Murphy ships, which are very similar actually to these other ones. Um, they look almost identical, except for maybe the back and some details, but I think they look fantastic. And so I do wanna, I think one of these may be a floating one. Yeah, that one's actually floating. So we wanna use the floating one. So we are going to place that right there. And what we're gonna do is just kind of scoot it over a little bit. And then let's go ahead and copy it and do another one back here. It'd be kind of tight with them in there, but. I think it's gonna be okay. So then we are then going to search up Carrier and this is the one that I'd gotten and it kind of sucks there. Um, I had downloaded one from the US Navy and for some reason it just isn't working that well. And so we're gonna use this one. It actually doesn't float, but it's not the end of the world. And this is um, at least under my understanding that this is an aircraft carrier for planes. And so um, it would definitely be a little bit better than this one. So we're gonna come down and plop down some helicopters and stuff right later in the episode. Okay, so now what I wanna do is come on over here and we're gonna get a little crazy. We're gonna jump into our trees. We are going to increase this brush size quite a bit. We can actually jump out of that. We don't need it. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of all this. We're gonna come back through and place down our own trees. Anybody who normally watches me knows that I do this quite often. Prefer to work with a clean slate. And so now what we're gonna do is come down here and I wanna get pretty close to that sea level. So now let's go ahead and look at this. So because we are doing an airport, we definitely need it to be flat. And I kept going back and forth on whether to actually leave um, like a hill or something. But I think because of how big this space is going to be, we definitely need it all to be flat. And so some fun lore for this as well is that there was actually a uh, Navy Admiral that was stationed at this uh, base at one of the headquarters here. There's like a Navy college or something. And he had been petitioning for the Navy who actually owned this piece of land to create an airfield for quite some time. There are a lot of airfields at Navy bases and so he was kind of sour, sour that this base didn't have one. After going back and forth quite a few times, they finally decided to approve the plans. And so they are gonna do this huge expansion with the memorial and it is also going to be a housing for a lot of retired Navy equipment. So the first thing we need to do is actually build a road over here. So let's actually drop the speed down. We're gonna go into a four unit road. We are going to come over here. We don't need to have have any trees or anything. I really don't think that that's going to be uh, necessary. So I think we are going to go to our standard road if we can find it. Oh, it was right there. Nice. So we will go ahead and grab that. And what I want to do is create a tunnel. So we are going to come up like right here. We're going to turn it in, go to unmodded so that we can go underground and we're going to go like right. I feel like that's probably good. And then let's go ahead and come this way. And then that way what we can do is come up over here. So now let's go ahead and go up. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be good because then we can go straight and then let's go ahead and jump into the network multi-tool into slope mode. And let's go ahead and hold shift and see how terrible this is. So it's actually not bad over there is probably the worst. What we want to do is go below water and see if we have any weird segments. So this actually looks pretty good. So if we come up over here and click like right there, if it's gonna let me, come on, you can do it. So we'll go ahead and click that. And then we will come up here, click that. Let's go ahead and above ground too, just cause we can. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And that is a terrible slope. Let's go ahead and go like right there. Let's see if we can make it a little bit better. Let's go below ground. Ooh, so we're actually pretty good right there. Let's see, I think we're still pretty far. No, actually, you know, that's good. 4.8 is still pretty big, but I think um, most semis and stuff could probably still make it. I think that's below like a 10% grade. And so we will come up here, go ahead and click that, click that, click this, and let's go ahead and hit enter as well. Man, 5.5, that is just terrible. I think what we're gonna do is 
possibly bring that further out because what we can do is have it go out like right here and then come up over here you know we're gonna keep it like that um i think it's gonna be okay even though i do wish that it was a little bit better and so now what we will do is come in here go back to freeform right click out of network multi-tool and uh, one of the things you have to do in order to get your airbase to work is um is to actually have a terminal so we are going to uh, first off paint this as an airport area so we'll come in here grab this go to the big guy the actual runways tend to uh, cover up this whole thing and so what we will do is go ahead and jump into our transport tab now we'll go in here and we're just going to do the basic little terminal we're really not going to do any sort of passenger service here this will probably just be for uh, like military personnel and stuff like that and so we will come up over here and we don't even need to have like a one-way system like we normally do but maybe we'll let's go ahead and place that so if we do a runway let's actually bring that back just a smidge so if we grab this let's bring this like right bring it like right there and then let's um draw out our runways before we get a little too crazy with this we're gonna go like right there and then what we're gonna do is do a secondary one so we're gonna come up like right here let's actually have that go the opposite direction since that would be one of the key factors of having multiple airstrips is uh in windy conditions you want to take off into the wind and that was one of the things i had learned when i was building the last airports that we did back when the airports dlc first came out and so and then that way what we can do is jump in here and go all the way down to our lovely cargo airport and we want to grab this road and i think we're gonna go ahead and do probably two areas so i don't know if we need that big one let's go ahead and use this medium one so we are going to come up like right here and then go across yeah we'll go like that i feel like that's probably good i actually want it to be lined up with that so if we go like this let's come across yeah we're pretty good right there perfect and we will come down what was that four one two three four perfect and we're going to do the same thing on this side so we're going to line up go like this and then come across four looks like that's just a smidge over four which isn't the end of the world nice and so let's go ahead and see if we can even fit one of these in we can't so we need them to be just a smidge further so we will grab that let's actually line it up with the road so we will come out here go like right there and then come this way let's go ahead and test that out so that's better it's definitely not good though so i think what we're gonna do is go ahead and finagle this road it's kind of funny i kind of got a little ahead of myself it's actually going to uh, help us out a little bit though by going like this what we can do is um, snake it more across the channel and have it come up here and then uh, enter right there which i think is going to be good and then that way what we can do is uh, come in here and make this just a little bit further or farther um so we'll come in here let's go so what was it like two or three i think three is probably good so if we go four and let's go ahead and do the same thing on this side so we'll go out three and go across four i feel like that is going to be fantastic and then that way it provides just enough space so we are going to do two on either end and then that way um, what we can do i got a big building in here that i think is going to look fantastic i got quite a bit of stuff so i think this building is just going to look super cool and so what i'm going to do is kind of cheat a little bit i'm going to uh, turn it into a procedural object and anybody who is not familiar with this super easy you literally just grab it all right click and i'm just going to scale this up that's all i'm going to do i just want to be able to fit it over so then i'm going to jump in and move it go to po flip this around and then come up over here go like this super easy so we'll go like this yeah look at that fantastic that may even be just a smidge too big we're gonna go ahead and leave it like that though and what we'll do is we are going to copy that and you know man i don't know if we're gonna have enough space on this side maybe we'll um, move those in a little bit more so if i grab that come up over here and put it right next to that how is that gonna look you know what i think that actually looks good i like the the compounds of it i do think i wonder if we can go in and change the color on that i think maybe because it's a po we can't yeah we can't that's not the end of the world though so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, i want to shift these over so we're gonna grab all these we're going to shift these over so that they're in the middle and then we are going to uh, literally just copy this so i'm going to uh, just retract what we had done it's kind of funny it's just uh a little easier if i do it like this so then i will go ahead and grab all this copy it and come over here and we want to make sure and line that up as best we can it actually looks fantastic i really like that um, i do wish these were a different color but i like that they're hangers and they have these little support buildings too i think that looks really cool 
And so let's go ahead and hook these up with the roads now. So we are going to jump into a industrial road. Why not? Since it's a little less expensive. And then that way what we can do is just connect that up. And then uh, let's go ahead and yeah, it looks like we're just not straight on this side. So I wonder if we can grab this, go just a little up. So if we go like right there, how does that look? So if we grab this and go straight now, ooh, that actually looks pretty good. So we um, can go ahead and straighten this out just a smidge. And then let's go ahead and turn on snapping and see if we can get that angle. And you know, that looks great. I like it. I think that looks really good. And then that way too, um, I wanted to try and cover this up with something maybe because we I know I need to get a couple taxiways even though I wish we didn't. Um, but let's um, jump back into our road before we forget. And I think I want to have it come up like right here. Okay, so I ended up changing that road one last time and it's just because I wanted it to curve over here. We were kind of having it poke above the water, but it also made it a little bit of a better slope on here. So now we actually got a really good slope. So if I grab this, just grab it. I think it went all the way down to like three degrees, which is just fantastic. Yeah, 3.4, that's just so much better. And it was just because I had it turn underneath the ground rather than having it go directly under the water. Really just helped it to get a, a little bit of a better slope on there. And so now I do want to come in here and just kind of fix this up. This looks really terrible. So if I grab that, let's go ahead and bring this down. Yeah, we'll go like that. And then um, flatten it out a little bit. So I'll go ahead and control H right there. And that, that already looks pretty good. We did um, definitely lower it down a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. That looks good. So then now we can go ahead and hit unmodded on that, get jump out of here, fantastic. All right, so now what I wanna do is draw on a couple little piers. I uh, kind of was getting a little bit ahead of myself, I forgot. So I wanna do probably a few in here. So we'll come across like this. It's actually come off here because I want it to be kind of perpendicular with that. So we will come up here, go out by like two, and let's actually do a skinnier one on this one. Yeah, we'll go like that. And then that way we can uh, come out here and do a little bit of a bigger one, go like that. And then let's um, go ahead and do the same thing off this side. So we'll come up here. Let's um, do a little bit of a bigger one and then we will do a small one right next to it. Yeah, I feel like this is good. And then that way we can uh, jump into the freeform tool. Let's go ahead and go from the other side. So we'll come up here and let's go ahead and line that up. Perfect. And then let's um, connect that up now. And then we should be able to use the marquee selection tool. Get out of underground mode. Go ahead and grab all this and just control H right there. Nice. Feel like that looks pretty good. And so now what we can do is come in here, go to our lovely level terrain tool and go like this. Nice. This is already looking so good. I really like this a lot. And so, um, one of the cool things too, we're going to do the standard keys. So ideally um, ships can moor anywhere on the island, which I think would be really beneficial. And so now what I want to do is come in here and we will um, do key walls all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and do the parallel tool first. So we will grab this and I don't believe, yeah, so it's this way. We'll literally just copy it all the way, all the way around. Anybody who hasn't used this tool, this tool is just fantastic. It really saves you so much time. So then we will come in here, go all the way around, go like this, bada bing, perfect. And then that way what we can do is lower this down now. We're gonna go all the way down to nine. That's like our standard one. Perfect. I think that looks fantastic. And so now what I'm gonna do is jump into the freeform tool and I'm literally just gonna draw our key wall all the way around, nothing special. And we will uh, go like that and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so I think this looks fantastic. I decided to uh, have a couple areas just protrude out a little bit. I had initially drew it all the way around. I was like, wait, how am I going to get a road pass there with it being safe? And so I decided to do that. And so now what I want to do is jump in here and we're actually going to do a road all the way around. And so we will grab this and we are just going to use our parallel tool trick again. So we're going to grab this and literally go all the way around. Super easy. Not on that side, though. I don't know if that would be safe. So we will grab this, go like this. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. This is just the greatest tool out there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done real quick and I will be right back with you guys. Okay, and so I think that's about the distance we're gonna do. And I decided to leave it empty right here because I'm not really sure exactly what we're gonna do just yet. But we may, um, I think we'll just arch it in. Now, so if we, um, if we go straight and then bring it up, probably about like right, come on, let's go. Yeah, like right there. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Just bring it up like right there, perfect. And then that way what we can do is just curve this in, have a nice little curve. Nice, I feel like that looks really good. It's not perfect right there. That kind of bothers me. I'm not going to stare at that though. We're just going to pretend like that's perfect. And so now what we need to do is connect this up. 
So I would prefer to use maybe a little bit of a wider road for this side. So we will go like this, connect that up, and then let's go ahead and do the same thing on this side. So we'll grab that, come up over here, connect that up. Perfect. I feel like that looks really good. I do wish that this was a little bit wider though. So if we go like that, how does that look? Doesn't look bad. We're just gonna pretend like this little section right there is not bad. Let's go ahead and unlock it and see what it looks like when we upgrade it. I have a feeling though that it's not gonna look that great. So if we go like that, you know what? That actually doesn't look bad. I like that. I like the symmetry behind it. I think it looks really cool. And so now what we are gonna do, I think we're gonna do a big storage kind of compound over here with a planes, helicopters, and we're going to make it like a joint force kind of storage area. So we'll say that the Marines or the army uh, store their stuff here as well. And so we do need to go ahead and throw in taxiways first before we get a little ahead of ourselves. So I want to come in here and we're just going to do a pretty simple, uh, straightforward design. I want to first off connect these up. So we're going to come out here and it looks like we're just a little too close. I wonder if we're going to be able to connect those up. Yeah, we are nice. So let's go ahead and connect that up. We need it to go this way, so we'll actually go the opposite direction. Totally messed up there. So we will go like that. Let's go ahead and actually move these nodes right in front. So if we go like right there, and then if we go right there, that's gonna be fantastic. That way the planes can actually uh, just, just turn in. That'll be good. And then that way what we can do is come out here again, go out one, come all the way down, and then connect it up to that. That's gonna be fantastic. And then let's go ahead and do that same thing. We're going to grab this grab that node go ahead and line it up we're going to do the same thing over here grab that node go ahead and line it up and then we are going to connect these up yeah look at that perfect and so we have landing planes coming this way so let's go ahead we have landing planes coming this way as well so we definitely are going to have some issues here so let's go ahead and draw this across we are going to have this go like right there and then we will have this one do the same. So let's actually have this go all the way down here and connect up right there. Nice. I feel like this is actually gonna work out pretty well. And then that way what we can do is go ahead and draw this out right there. And then let's um, come out this way as well. We'll come out like right there, go like this. And then that way we can come up here, go like that. I don't even know if we're gonna really need that because they're gonna have ways to get there both ways. Let's actually get rid of that because I don't think they're gonna need it on the opposite side. Though, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe there would still be taxiways on that way. And I'm sure that this isn't the correct way to do this, but I feel like it is going to work for our purpose, which is fantastic. So we got those ones going that way. We got this coming this way. We need to flip this around. We'll go like that. Because what we could do as well is have a couple roads come up over here. I feel like this would probably be good too. Uh, you know, let's actually cut it in a little further. So we are going to have this delete right there. And then we are going to cut this in like right here. So if we go like that, I feel like that is definitely a little bit safer. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. And then that way we'll actually have designated runways. It's actually not going to work out. So we'll go like that. And then let's um, come over here and do the same thing. So we'll grab this, come across. Nice. I feel like that's going to work out well. And so now both sides have access. I'm not entirely certain if this is accurate. Once again, but now what we're going to do is come in here and just barely bump it below because I want to get rid of those weird triangles on there. I feel like that is definitely something that we don't want. Um, but now everybody has access, which I think is fantastic. Let's go ahead and do some water pipes real quick so we can get this thing working. Okay, water pipes hooked up. And now I, want, I do want to do a water tower in here too. So let's go ahead and do a water tower like right there. I feel like that would be authentic. I feel like a water tower would definitely be on this island. I do want to do some storage and some light industrial in here. And then we're going to do some ships that are moored over here. And then I think we're going to do our memorial. Maybe we'll do the memorial over here. I feel like that'll be good. And so let's um, actually jump in here. We're going to go to warehouse. And I want to use one of those longer ones. I had kind of looked around at a bunch of these uh, Navy air bases like San Diego. And um, they actually have a ton of these warehouses just lined up. Um, not all over, all over the place, but they definitely have them. So I think we're going to go like that. And how many was that? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to do eight. We'll do eight on this side as well. Perfect. I feel like that looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and check Rico on those to see. So they are dummy warehouses, which is fantastic. They're not going to uh, fill us up with a ton of random industry, which is good. And so now I want to come into a one unit road and I want to uh, kind of make this a little busy. Um, one of the things with the air bases is they didn't really make a whole lot of sense. And so I want to uh, come up over here, have this turn. Let's actually have it come up over here. 
Let's um, turn off snapping so we can get it right next to it. We'll go like that. Then we'll have this follow. Let's go ahead and uh, delete this road. And then we will always come back and bring it back. So then we can come up like right here and then turn it. And then what I'm going to do is jump into move it and just kind of clean this up. We could even straighten that out a little bit more. Yeah, if we go like that. Nice. And then that way we um, have some areas for us to put in some industrial. Just kind of make it look really almost congested. Like there's just a ton of ton of stuff going on. So let's go ahead and connect this up and let's go straight. And so now what I want to do is go ahead and do that same thing on this side. So we will grab this road, come down here and then follow that back side. And then it looks like we're a little bit tighter on this side. So I don't know if we're going to do that same kind of idea. Maybe we'll go like right there. Yeah, I feel like that looks pretty good. And then that way what we can do is actually come up here and do the same thing. So we'll go like right there. Nice. I feel like that looks fantastic. And then that way we can uh, just connect that up, give some nice um, access in there. And then let's go ahead and actually connect these up now. So let's um, bring them out just a smidge. We're going to turn on snapping, go like right there and go like right here, perfect. And then that way we should be able to curve it in without it clipping this tunnel. We're like right there, we're so close. So if we grab this and just bring it back ever so slightly, nice, that is perfect. Let's get out of underground view. And so now we have created some nice access over here. I do wish that this was, uh, was even, but we're a little bit further away from the road on this side. It's not the end of the world though. We're going to fill this in with warehouses and all kinds of stuff, just kind of fill it in. And so let's um, come in here, let's connect this up just because we can. So I think we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that road. It just looked a little too weird. I didn't really like it. And so I do want to turn this one into our memorials. We're going to grab this and we will come all the way out like right here. I don't want it to be below water. So we'll actually um, turn off snapping, bring this all the way out. We'll go like right there. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be perfect. And then what I'm thinking is we will come in here, search up a little tent. Um, I've actually been to one of these before in uh, in Charleston where you saw they have an aircraft carrier and a submarine that you can walk in and a battleship. It was actually really cool. We got It was like a self-guided tour all the way through the aircraft carrier and then the battleship and everything. It was um, actually a really fun time. And so um, what I want to do is gate this off now. So this would still be like controlled access. Like you would probably pay to help support like the um, the upkeep of the ship and everything. So we'll go like this and then we will come all the way down. Let's go like that. I feel like that's probably good. And then that way what we can do is go ahead and grab this, connect it up. Let's go ahead and fix this. Of course, snapping wanted to move it. And it's like, no, the fence needs to be over here. So we'll go like that, perfect. And then let's um, go ahead and fill in these with concrete since a lot most times, I mean, you see areas like this, it's all concrete. They don't typically have grass on these. At least from what I know, maybe I'm wrong. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments down below if this is uh, not accurate, if we can get away without concrete in here. But I feel like concrete is definitely something that you normally see on these type of piers. So we'll go like that, go like that. Let's go ahead and bring this in. And then what we'll do is grab our Texas ship now. So if we go Texas, yeah, we'll grab this, bring it up over here, nice. And then I actually got some modular ramps as well. So if we go to ramps, Nice, so I got this one. It's probably gonna take a little bit of finicking, like playing around with to get it right. So if we grab this, let's go ahead and place it down and then we will grab, move it and slide it over here. Of course it goes below the water. And what I'm gonna do is basically just play around with this until I can get it right. It actually looks like this might be perfect. Oh, you know, that is so good. So if I lower that down just a smidge more, move it over. Yeah, you know, that's good. That worked out much better. I had to when I was testing this out, I had to do a bunch of these flat ones. It just wasn't wasn't super easy. So now I want to do a couple more tents just to create a couple uh, little spaces for people to uh, just kind of maybe grab some food or if they have like a drink or something like that. So we'll come up over here, go like that. And then I wanted to do a little memorial as well. We don't have a ton of them though. Ooh, these ones are cool. So Asian Garden, this one's cool. Even though um, it is cavalry, I'm not really sure how this would apply. Maybe this was like a you know, back in the day, the history behind it was, uh, you know, cavalry led into the Navy or something like that. I'm not entirely certain, but um, let's go ahead and place a couple anchors as well, just because why not? I feel like this is really going to help serve this area well. We'll go ahead and copy that. And then what I'm going to do is just place on a couple planters probably around this real quick, probably do a curb, just make it look good. Yeah, there we go. I feel like that looks pretty nice. And then that way, what we can do is just come in here, put a couple little benches around it, somewhere to sit. Um, enjoy, maybe look out over the water, look at the ship, uh, maybe rest if, after having a long day. So we'll go ahead and grab this. Let's just do a couple. We don't need to do a lot. So we will place one like right here. We'll place one like right there. 
Let's go ahead and do them all the way around. Yeah, you know, what? I think that looks fantastic. I really like that. And so I do want to do a couple more of those ships too. So if we come in here, go to Navy. Let's see. So the Michael Murphy, I think we got those. Ooh, we didn't get some of these ones. These ones are great. So if we come in here, let's go ahead and mur moor this one sideways. Now, you know, we're going to uh, move that one and we will shift it up like right here. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be good. Perfect. And then that way we can, oh, we got these Lake Erie ones too, which I think these are kind of big. Yeah, that one's cool. Let's actually do two of these right next to each other. Those ones have little helicopter stands on the back too, which I think looks fantastic. And then I think we got one more as well. I think we got the Iowa one. So if we come in here, search up Iowa. Yeah, we did. Perfect. So Iowa class battleship. This is actually a bigger one. So let's see. We don't really have a ton of space. So let's actually have it come up over here. Maybe it's just moored up on the side. Yeah, look at that one. That one is cool. That's a cool battleship. And then I, I really like these ones too. I think this was already looking fantastic. Let's see if we could, I think this is going to be a little too big. For, yeah, it's going to be too big for us to get in there. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and have it be like right here. I feel like this is going to look perfect. We could also have it go up to the end too. Maybe we'll have it go right there. Yeah, we made these inlets a little too short. And so they now don't have um, enough space. Now we're going to go ahead and put it off to the side. So we're going to go like right there. I feel like that looks good. And so now let's jump in here and go to industrial. And I want to do a couple little just, you know, oh, maybe we're actually going to do those factory buildings. Yeah, I think that would be great in here. So we got a couple pretty cool uh, factory assets off the Steam Workshop. So let's actually click off vanilla, and come in here. So I really like these ones. We've used these quite a bit, though, but I think these buildings just look fantastic. So if we come in here let's go ahead and place a small one right there and then that way we can go ahead and do a small road grab that road come up this way let's go ahead and turn on snapping and then have this turn we'll go like that and let's have this follow around we'll go like right there and then let's jump back in there and see if we can fit one of these bigger ones yeah that would be fantastic and then let's um see about fitting in a couple smaller ones in here so we'll go like that go like that yeah that looks great i really like that and I would really like to get this road across. So if we bring this across, have this just terminate like right there. Yeah, there we go. So at least it's a little bit closer to being uh, about the same size. Then that way we can do another big one and then do a couple more small ones in here. So we'll go a small one like right here. Yeah, I feel like that's good. And another one of the suggestions that I'd gotten was that there normally is a ton of oil storage at these places too. So I wanna go ahead and put in some tanks we're going to, I wanted to get a couple of these big ones over here, but I just don't know if we have enough space. You know, we'll be able to fit a couple of these. So if we go like that, go like this, and then let's do a couple of these smaller ones too. So we will come up over here. Let's um, do some like right there. And then let's um, do a couple over here. Ooh, it looks like these buildings actually went abandoned. I'm going to go ahead and replace these real quick. That way we can come back in here and do a couple more tanks. Would really like to get, ooh, let's actually turn on vanilla because I think we had some more tanks in here. We actually do. It would be great if we could fit. Let's actually do one of those because um, based off of what the suggestion was saying is they have to they have to store so much oil for these things. And so um, they would need to definitely have some sort of oil storage like that. I do want to get this bigger one over here, though. I feel like this would just be such a great little asset. So if we go, let's go ahead and see. Let's see if we can actually fit this one right here. I feel like this would be great. Yeah. And let's go ahead and copy it on this side. So we're going to trim this back and then grab these. Go like right. Building already placed. Oh, it's because it doesn't have zoning. So let's come in here and force zoning. Since um, for some reason the parallel tool is having issues with zoning. And so we will go ahead and switch that around. Let's go ahead and turn it off. We do not want them to start importing oil over here. So we'll go like that. Let's go ahead and turn them all off now. So we'll grab this. Go ahead and turn it off. Come up over here, turn these ones off. Just because we really don't need oil over here, we would have to put in like processing facilities and stuff like that. It's just a lot of work. Um, we don't need it. And so now let's come back in here and we're gonna do warehouses again, but I wanna get some of these smaller ones in here. So we will go, I know we got a ton of them. So this one actually looks pretty good. It's a little too small. This one's great. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, 
And then let's do a parking lot in the middle. So we'll grab this, come up all the way. I know I have this. Ooh, so we want to get something smaller. So I think this four by four is exactly what I'm looking for. So we're going to go like that. We're going to go like this. And then that way what we can do is grab this building again, come up over here and basically do the same thing that we did on the other side. Just kind of fill it in. This is really just about filling in space because we don't want these to actually be buildings either. We want them to be dummy buildings. Yeah otherwise they just generate a bunch of unneeded traffic and so now let's do the same thing with that parking lot we're going to grab this we're going to come up over here fill that in that is just ever so slightly too small maybe we'll come up here can we fit that in no so we'll grab that let's go back i think we have one that's a little bit smaller so 10 by 4 no, i think we're just going to be stuck with the 4 by 4 it's not the end of the world i'm not i'm not too worried about it so then let's um, go ahead and do another parking lot right there. And then, so the whole goal right now is basically just filling in the space. We want it to look dense. We want it to look like there's just a ton of buildings everywhere. So we'll go like that. Yeah, this is already looking so cool. So let's um, go ahead and get rid of this. We don't need that road back there. And then let's um, figure out something to do for in here. So let's search up factory again. So if I search up mill, yeah, so I knew we had this, this building. This building is really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into a zoning adjuster and force zoning off there. And then what we'll do is um, go ahead and connect this up, go like that. And let's go ahead and put an end cap on that. Yeah, I feel like this building is just really cool. I like this a lot. And that way what we can do is go into move it, grab this building, just kind of shift it back a little bit and then turn it. And we'll go like right there. Nice. I feel like that looks great. This definitely has like a historical kind of vibe to it even though it is um, a little bit a little bit different. So if we grab that, bring it back, nice. I really like that. I think that is a cool look. And so now we pretty much have this whole section set up. So let's, um, what we're gonna do is just probably do some uh, some storage over here, since I would imagine the military would probably still need a lot, ton of space for storage. So we will grab this road, go all the way down to the end. We're gonna do the same thing here, grab this, go all the way down. Let's go ahead and turn off snapping so we can get that nice perfect angle and then we will grab this do the same thing we're going to go ahead and turn it sideways though maybe this is like some sort of special dock or something and then um, let's go ahead and fill this in with some more warehouses so we will come up over here grab these again i really like these ones they're really great standard warehouses so we'll go like that and then let's um just copy it and do that same little parking lot go like this go like that and then let's fill in this again boom 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 perfect i think this is already looking so good and i think we have a couple uh, bigger warehouses so if we search up warehouse again get back in here let's actually do a couple of these ones these ones would be good so if we go like right there and then right there how does that look it actually looks really good i think that looks great and then that way what we can do is um put a couple of these as well so we'll go like that go like that Let's um, move those over just a smidge. We'll go like this. Nice. I think that this is already coming together so nicely. So we would definitely need a couple cranes back here to uh, help load up the ships. So we'll jump out of here. Let's go ahead and grab this. We're just going to do a couple of these. I don't want to get crazy with it. So we will grab this, come all the way down, go like that. And then let's go ahead and do one on this side as well. Go like that. Perfect. Nice. And then let's, um, you know what? I feel like that is pretty good. We'll probably come back through here and fill in some more of the space during the detail detailing time lapse. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this area. We do need to get a uh, regular terminal in here. So I'm going to do a couple small aircraft stands. Nothing crazy. Um, I completely forgot about it. We're definitely going to have to figure out how to hook these up. So maybe we'll actually just do two. And then that way, what we can do is jump in here, go to that again, and then uh, line it up. So that one actually looks pretty good. So we'll grab this, bring it back just a smidge and just make it so that we can turn them straight in. Nice, I feel like that looks fantastic. And so we will unpause in just a second. I know we're gonna get a bunch of planes. So I think we're gonna do residences back there. We can even do residences back here. So we'll probably do some residences and then we're gonna do the storage back here. So, so if we go to a two unit road and we wanna be far enough away from the airfield to not be a danger. So let's go ahead and go like right there, follow this again and come all the way out basically. So we'll go like that. Nice. I feel like this is going to be fantastic. And then that way it just leaves a little bit of a buffer room for, uh, for this area. So now we will come in here, go like this and then do the same thing. We'll just probably do one more, go like this. Nice. 
feel like this is going to be fantastic. And so now let's jump in here and start looking at some of our planes and helicopters and stuff. If we come in here, oh yeah, we got a ton of these. So we have an F-16-1 P-1, which a lot of these are not, I'm not really sure the country for some of these, but um, there's some really cool looking planes. So we'll grab this. Let's go ahead and go across. I still want to give them access to the airport in case they did need to get on. And so, so we'll go like this. But then I got a couple of these ones too, which are kind of like those helicopter planes, which I think look really cool. So we'll go ahead and bring those across. And then let's go ahead and do two rows of that. And then I got some helicopters as well. So we'll go ahead and go like this. And then we will bring these across too. Go like that. Nice. I feel like this is already looking so cool. So let's, um, I got one of these ones too, which I think is just such a cool little plane. So we will come up over here. Let's um do this one like right here. So we got some more helicopters. I think I got one under the name Lockheed. So if I grab that, yeah, I do. So then now what we can do is come up over here and do a couple more rows. Nice. So now we have a ton of storage back here. They would have access to the airport, which is really important. But now let's come in here and search up Abrams. So if we go like this, yeah, so we have some Abrams tanks, uh, M1A2 Abrams. Um, so now what I want to do is do some rows in here. So we'll go like this. We're just probably going to do this whole thing a row. Maybe this is like a stockpile after a war or something like that. Yeah, and there we go. That's definitely a lot. But now we want to... So M1A2, those ones are just camo. Maybe we'll search up tanks. Uh, not tanks. Let's um, look in vehicles. So if we come in here. Oh, here we go. So we got some home Vs too. So these would be really cool. So we're going to grab this and we're going to do the same thing here. We're basically going to fill this all in. I think we're going to do a couple warehouses though too. So we will grab this, grab a couple of these, go down, down. And then let's go ahead and do a couple on the other side as well. We'll go like that, go like that. Perfect. And then that way we can jump back in here, grab our little Humvees, do some rows of these. We'll go like that, go like this. We're gonna do just a ton of these as well. And then let's go ahead and do these ones on the opposite side. And then what I'm thinking is we will grab a bigger road in here. So we'll go industrial, grab this four unit industrial road, and then just bring it through here and connect it up just to provide a little more access through here. I really like the look of this. I think this is already looking so cool. So I do want to search up some more of those. So if I think, so if I search up military, yeah, look at this. So we have an IFV GPT infantry fighting vehicle. This one looks really cool. So let's go ahead and do some rows of these. Is that it? So if I grab that, yeah, this one's bigger too. Look at that. They're definitely much bigger than those uh, little Humvees. Nice. And then, so what are these? Ooh, these are other little Humvees, which would be great. So we'll do some of these guys. We'll go across. Go ahead and go all the way down on this one. All right, I got some helicopters in here too. So we're going to go ahead and put in just a couple rows of these. Go like this, go like this. Nice. I feel like this is already coming together so much, so well. Like, look at this. It's just really cool. So let's um go ahead and do, so we have all those. Let's do some more helicopters. So if we come in here and search up helicopters now. So we have these Seahawk helicopters, which would be awesome. So let's actually do a couple more warehouses. We'll go like this, go like this. And then we can jump back in there, go like this all the way across. This would be a lot of stuff. I don't know if they actually store all this stuff, but I would imagine that the, you know, everything has to go somewhere after it's being used. And so let's go ahead and bring this down and then we will cut this in. Nice. And then let's um, jump back in there and search up some other stuff. So we got these Nighthawks. These ones would be cool. So if we come all the way down, go like that, man, this is just so much. This is crazy amount of storage, but it's going to look really cool. And that's, that's the goal of it. So we will come across, go like that. And I feel like that looks pretty good. So well, maybe we'll keep this one empty. Like there was stuff there, but it actually got called into service or something like that. And so what we are going to do is basically just color this all in now. So we're going to imagine that that intersection is actually a part of the airport. And then we're going to go ahead and put fences around this outer side so that um, there'd probably be like buildings, people who are in charge of all this storage and stuff like that. And so we will go like this and then we are going to go like that. Perfect. Come all the way around. Nice. I think this is really cool. Now, you know what? I think that looks pretty cool. So we will come up over here and we're probably going to do a couple more little warehouses. Let's um, jump in here, go back to warehouses and place them on this backside just because we wouldn't want to waste space. So I think we're going to do these ones. And we'll go all the way down. These would be for like maybe smaller stuff like armaments or something like that. Yeah, I think that looks really cool. And so we're going to go ahead and use this back section for housing now. So this would be for uh, any of the barracks and stuff like that. Anybody who lived on, on the base um, who didn't live in a house. And so 
We'll go like this and bring this all the way back to, I believe it's 45 is what we want. Nope, maybe 55, 65, 60. We'll go 60. I feel like that's good right there. I don't want to get crazy with it. So then we will grab this and go ahead and connect it up. Nice. I think this is already looking really cool. And we're going to come in here and go back to the barracks that we had done before, but I want to do these bigger ones. So we're going to go like this and basically place these all the way down. And it does look like I need to go into zoning adjuster and fix our zoning on here. And there we go. I feel like that is pretty good. And so I think we're going to do some more storage on this side, similar to this one. I feel like that looked really cool. So I want to basically copy that. We're going to come in here, go to a two unit road, come out about one, go ahead and connect that up, come down here. We're going to turn it, probably go about like, what was it, one? Yeah, we'll go like that. And go ahead and connect that up. Yeah, I felt like that looked really good on the opposite side. And so now what we're going to do is basically just do the same thing. We're going to do storage and warehouses and stuff and just make it look really cool. And so we will come in here. Let's go ahead and connect this up. We're going to have it go across, connect up, and then let's, um, let's actually do one shorter. So we're going to go like this, connect that up. Nice. And so a couple other things I do want to get in here is some services. So I want to get some trash. I want to get some a medical facility. So I think we will come in here. I'm tempted to do this bigger one, but I just don't know if it would be necessary for back here. So let's... um. We're gonna go ahead and place down this smaller one. And I think we will actually place this down off the front side if I can get zoning adjuster in here. So we will go like this and then let's um, connect that. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be perfect. So we'll connect that up right there and then let's um, actually put a hospital on the front side. So one of the things that, um, one of the other suggestions that was given for this area was that a hospital would be uh, would be normal, especially since it's a military base, you would definitely have something like this. And so maybe we'll go ahead and place this over here. I kind of want to create a nice space for it, but I just don't know if we have anywhere that we can. Could do it right there. I feel like this would actually be good. So if we go ahead and delete these and then put this hospital in here, let's go ahead and see. Yeah, you know what? Cause then that would be the military hospital. I feel like that would be accurate. And then that way we actually leave some room over here to be able to do some more stuff. So let's um, grab these warehouses, go like this and basically do the same thing. So we're going to double them up go like this and go like this. Nice. I feel like this is already gonna look really cool. And then let's um, put in some more storage. So we're gonna grab these same home V's and just basically replicate it on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and get this done real quick and then I'll show you guys when I am done. Okay, so I feel like this looks pretty good and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with Surface Painter. So we are going to paint in this one side, go like this, basically go all the way down, paint in that other side as well. And I'm gonna go back and fix that water. I don't like having concrete in the water. I feel like that's really weird. It like changes the color, but it makes it super weird. Um, but then we are going to basically surface paint this whole intersection um, in the San Diego Coronado base. Um, there's definitely a ton of concrete. It's almost all concrete. It's actually kind of crazy. So then we will, we actually don't need concrete on that intersection, but we will make this all concrete. And then what I'm going to do is basically do concrete all the way around the outside, just because I feel like it's going to make it look really cool, kind of clean it up. So then we'll just draw, drag this all the way around then come back through and clean it up. It's going to take a little bit of time, but I think it's going to be worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done real quick and I will be right back with you guys. And there we go. I feel like this looks really good. I love the storage that we got over here. It's kind of interesting. We definitely didn't end up using this space as much as I was thinking, but I feel like this looks really good. We definitely still have a couple spaces where we could do like maybe some more warehouses or something, or maybe we could actually do something with the airport. So maybe if we come in here, go to transportation and then do like some tanks and stuff, I feel like that could actually be good. We didn't really focus on too much of that. So if we go like this and let's go ahead and do two, even though I don't think it's necessary, that way it just kind of fills that space in a little bit, makes it look a little bit better. And then what I want to do is go ahead and do a fence around. And I think I'm going to go ahead and jump into a detailing time lapse. So I'm going to go ahead and do some trees. I think we're going to do a park back here. I'm going to do a fence all the way around. We already did a ton of details, but I want to uh, just drop in a few more, make it look really good. And I hope you guys enjoy. I will be right back with you.
Okay, so I am finally done, and I think this looks really good. I think it looks fantastic. I didn't do really a whole lot. I just decided to do the young lindens around the outside. I did some overgrowth back here. I kept these areas open because they're both the approaches and the, the takeoff areas. And so I uh, did go in and put in a ton of lighting just because this is all storage. And for some reason, lighting in this game is just kind of finicky. So you have placed down a ton of them, but I think it looks good. It looks really good at night too. I'll show you guys in just a second. I went ahead and put lighting down here too to light these up. And then I just went ahead and did some more overgrowth over here. Overall, I think this area looks really good. I like the storage a lot. I think it looks fantastic. I really like this a lot. And so let's go ahead and look at it at night and see what it looks like. Okay, so here is our night view. I went ahead and did a ton of lighting for our storage. And so now these would be all safe. I don't really know if they would put this much lighting in here. I'm not really sure. Um, but I think this looks good. And overall, I think it's a really nice addition for the area. I like that it's kind of a smaller map. And I like that it's got the road going all the way around. So you can kind of see the trace. It looks really cool. So go ahead, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you enjoyed the episode, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. If you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on Sunday.